So next up on the docket is to actually adjust for accounts payable because we already adjusted for our current assets, accounts receivable and inventory and we don't have to adjust for our cash because that is going to be the last item on our cash flow statement. So, and I should also say that the these assets right here are long term in nature so they do not belong in the operating activity section, they belong in the investing. So let's go ahead and adjust for accounts payable. Well we have $18,000 by which it increased from 2013 to 2014. So let's go ahead and factor that into our cash flow statement. So as you can see, we have already adjust for accounts receivable and inventory. Now we need to adjust for accounts payable. And accounts payable went up by $18,000. And we gotta decide whether it's a source or a use. So quickly, Thinking about our rule, we know that it's a source because accounts payable is a current liability and when current liabilities go up, it's a source. As to why it's a source, well, I'll explain that right now. And it's probably easier to understand if we start off by explaining why it's a use if accounts payable goes down. So if it's a use, normally this is because or if accounts payable goes down by $18,000, it's normally because we're, we're paying off our obligations. So accounts payable is being debited, since its normal balance is usually a credit, and we would be crediting cash by $18,000. So right here, we can easily see why this is a use of cash. So whenever this current liability decreases, it's going to be a use of cash. If accounts payable goes up, one likely scenario is that we have an accrued expense. So let's say we have an expense reported like that and then we create an obligation by using accounts payable. And we're going to put $18,000 on each so that they balance. So right now we've just created an accrued expense. So an expense that has been has been incurred but yet to be paid in cash. So this expense is actually going to lower net income because of course expenses are deducted from revenues to get net income. So the salary's expense is actually already factored in to net income to get this, this figure right here. And if we're trying to get our net income on the cash basis, this is actually understating our net income because we deducted this this expense and it's clearly a non cash expense because no cash is in this journal entry so what we need to do is we need to actually reverse this and we're going to reverse it by adding the eighteen thousand dollars back in so for the accounts payable part we're going to add back in eighteen thousand dollars and that way the, the the entry that lowered our net income on the cash basis will be reversed and we're slowly clo we're slowly closing in on getting our net income on the cash basis for our operating activities section and I think we don't have any other current liabilities so in the next tutorial we're just going to finish off the non-cash expenses and then we'll be done the operating activities section see you guys then if you have any questions regarding accounting or any other material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate, you can like us on Facebook to receive updates, or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.